area of a trapezoid. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of parallel opposite sides. So, for example, this right in this line here, this line here, they're parallel. These are not, so it only has exactly one parallel opposite side. And Steve, Steve is bugging me. He wants to talk to you a little bit. He said he wants. Oh, there he is. Okay. A quadrilateral with exactly one pair of parallel opposite sides. Thanks, Steve, again. You're awesome. All right, so back to your area. And then the area is just all the square units needed to cover the surface of an enclosed geometric figure. Again, it's the creamy nougat on the inside that counts kind of a thing. That's the area. So trapezoid, I want to start with the formula first. The formula for a trapezoid is area, is area equals h, and the h stands for the height, which you can either measure here, you can measure the height here, Sometimes you'll see the height measured here, and yes, you can even measure the height in the center. But any of those would be the height of our trapezoid, labeled with an H. Base 1, yes, even though it says base 1, this is the top, and then base 2 down here. All you do is plug it in, follow PEMDAS, and solve. Now, where did they develop the formula for finding the area of a trapezoid. There's a few ways. Um, one way that I know of is all you need to do is take your trapezoid and make a quick copy of it. What I'm going to do so I can show that this is my copy is I'm just going to make it red. And all you need to do is flip it upside down and okay. Uh, then move it next to the other one. So the red one's my copy, the black one is my original. And then with my magic eraser that I have here, I'm going to show you magically that when you put two trapezoids together, it makes a quadrilateral. Well, and it makes a parallelogram. And in this parallelogram, we know that area equals base times height. Well, area equals... Well, the base of this one is 10 plus the 8 now, so that's the base of this entire parallelogram, so 10 plus 8 is 18, and we got the 10 from our original trapezoid, and the 8 was actually from the top here, but we flipped it, so now it's the base over here, times the height, and the height is still 5. So all you have to do is some math, so area equals 18 times 5, 5 times 8 is 40, carry the 4, 5 times 1 is 5, plus 4 is 90. So right now we're at 90, but we don't want the area of all of this. All we really want is the area of this part here, which is half of this. So we just need to divide this by 2. So area equals 45, in this case, inches squared. So... so we got the original 8 from here, so you just really need to add the 8 plus the 10. That's where we get base 1 place plus base 2, the 8 plus the 10, which was the base of our, quadril our parallelogram, times it by the height, times it by the height here. And since we only wanted half of this, you're going to divide it by 2. So let's take another example real quick. We're going to use the formula this time. So we know the height is 4 feet. So area is going to equal 4 times the quantity of base 1. Here's my base 1. Plus my base 2. Plus 12. And I'm going to divide all that by 2. So we know that 5 plus 12 it's going to equal 17. And then we just have to do 17 times 4. 4 times 7 is 28. Carry the 2. 4 times 1 is 4. 5, 6. And then all we have to do now is divide that by 2. And we get 34 feet squared, because we're talking about area. And that's, that's it. But I think there's one more person that wanted to talk and say something real quick. 
Let me let me see if he's not busy. Oh, it's General Akbar. What what does he want to say real quick? Not General. My bad. I'm sorry, General. You're not General. Admiral Akbar. He wants to say real quick that you know. Oh, it wasn't loud enough. Azoid. Okay, moving on. Thank you, and have a good day. Bye-bye.